Senate voting today to approve Elizabeth Hertel as director of the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services. The vote had been in question because of Republicans' continued frustration with Governor Whitmer's handling of COVID restrictions. Political reporter Rick Albin is here now to show us what happened, Rick. Brian and Sue, some Republicans had vowed not to approve any of the governor's appointees until she consented to let the legislature weigh in on some of those orders and other actions taken to combat the pandemic. Hertel's nomination to replace Robert Gordon has been contentious, with some Republicans saying she'll approach the pandemic the same way Gordon did, and that, they say, is not the direction they want to go. Hertel's husband, Senator Curtis Hertel Jr., abstained from voting, though he did make remarks about his wife's nomination. Many Republican members voiced concern about confirming Hertel. We have the right and the responsibility to vet these nominees. We have to stand up for those that have been harmed by these orders. People like Marlena Pavlos Hackney, owner of Marlena's Bistro and Pizzeria in Holland, who is Michigan's first political prisoner of the pandemic. Marlena fled communism in Poland to come to the United States. She was detained after refusing to continue the absurd shutdown requirement unilaterally imposed on people like her. We cannot sit by and let abuses of power like this stand. We must vote down this nominee responsible for the perpetuation of this abuse of power. Anyone who believes their bureaucratic authority exceeds the authority of those elected and serving in this chamber and the one across the rotunda is unfit for this position. She is one of the least partisan people that I know. How many people in town have worked for the Republicans and Democrats at different times during their career and been respected universally by both? I cannot ask this body to vote a specific way. It would be inappropriate for me to do so. What I will ask is that each of you search inside yourself and do what you believe is right. In the end, four Republicans joined all the Democrats present to approve her tell 18 to 16. One of those Republicans was Senate Majority Leader Mike Shirky, who said in a statement, quote, my vote in favor of Elizabeth Hertel's appointment does not reflect agreement with her decisions as deputy director and now as director of MDHHS, but rather my belief that her background and expertise make her qualified for the job. He continues, to her credit, in the short time since her appointment, I've had more conversations with Elizabeth than I did over two years with her predecessor. That communication with the legislature must continue if we're to repair the damage done by the incompetence of the previous leadership.